Hi, and welcome back for another Wreck at Home activity. I'm Jared Larish with the Salinas Recreation Division, and today we're gonna do a little thing with science, and we're gonna make a snowstorm in a jar. So for this, you're gonna need a few things, um, some of which you may or may not have at home already. So to start, you're gonna need a mason jar or some kind of clear uh, glass, okay? You're also gonna need about a quarter cup of water, a little less, uh, depending on the size of your jar. You're also gonna need some baby oil and some white acrylic paint. Uh, the acrylic paint is pretty important because it won't dissolve in the water, okay? Because we're gonna mix paint and the water together. You're gonna need a little something to stir with, uh, just to stir your paint and water together. You're also gonna need some kind of glitter preferably the iridescent or the clear oily looking glitter that's plastic. Um, we have a similar version of that. It's a little bit of a light blue. And lastly, you're gonna need some fizzy tablets uh, for indigestion that are known as Alka-Seltzer. And you're gonna wanna break those up into little pieces. It's kinda like we have here. That's gonna create our snow effect. Okay, so now that we've got the supply list down, We'll go ahead and get set up and uh, we'll show you how it works. All right, now to get started, you're gonna wanna take your jar and you're gonna wanna start with your baby oil. And we're gonna fill this jar up uh, about two thirds of the way, about here with baby oil. This is the main component of our over a little bit. Now we're going to take our water and our paint. Okay. And there's really no exact measurement here. You're just going to want to put enough white paint in the water so that when you stir it up and mix it, you basically have white water. Okay. And this is essentially our snow. So we'll take this and we'll stir it up. This is why we don't want to use watercolor, because the watercolor will just dilute too much. All right. We've got our paint mixed and our water mixed. Now we want to go ahead and just dump that in. You see how it settles at the bottom? That's good, let's give it a little bit more. So you kind of want to play it by ear. You don't want too much paint in your water, in your uh, oil. So you can see our paint has settled at the bottom because it's essentially mixed with the water. So since oil and water don't mix, it's gonna settle at the bottom. Now, this is where you're gonna take your glitter, okay? We're going to just dump in some glitter. Nothing exact, just dump it in. There we go. So you see the glitter starting to kind of fall into the thing. Now here's where the sciencey part comes in. You're gonna use the alka seltzer which is gonna create the bubbles like in a soda, CO2, carbon dioxide. And those bubbles are gonna pull the water and paint mixture to the top. And then because it's heavier than the oil, it'll sink back down. And as long as we have Alka-Seltzer in here to create the bubbles, we're gonna have essentially a snowstorm. So you're gonna take your small pieces and you're just gonna wanna place them in different portions of the uh, jar. And as they, as you can already start to see, as they dissolve, they're gonna start to create bubbles that are gonna rise. So let's, let's see what we got here. Here we go. It might take, it's gonna take a second or two. Um, now the larger your pieces of Alka-Seltzer are, the longer they're gonna take to dissolve in the water paint mixture at the bottom. But as you can see, we kind of get, we're starting to get some. Right now it kind of looks more like a lava lamp. 
Um, but you want to try to get your, your pieces as small as possible so that they dissolve really quick. And they create this bubbly effect. So as you can see, we're starting to get some fall. Got some sticking to the jar a little bit, that's okay. And as it dissolves, it'll keep pulling, pulling white paint up, and it'll drop back down once it. There we go, now we're getting a little bit of an effect there. So, as the Alka Seltzer dissolves and creates the bubbles, we're gonna lift the white paint to the top. And as the bu bubbles dissipate, once they get to the top of the water, oil mixture, and they come out of the top, the uh, paint will settle back to the bottom until more bubbles bring it back up. Let's see if we can get a better look here. There we go. So have fun with this at home. Uh, try it out. Make sure you get some help from a parent because uh, the acrylic paint is uh, can be messy and uh, have some fun with it. Use a bigger jar than we did. Um, if you have one around, the bigger the jar, the bigger the snowstorm. Um, and see how you can uh, create your own snowstorm at home. All right, so this has been another Wreck at Home activity. Have fun, stay safe. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.